Hello Diamonds and welcome back to Ecolab Season 18. So this will be definitely the last episode of the season because we have decided to take the meteor down and the server itself is really 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 empty so pretty much dead. So our population or the those that active count is only two. Uh, it's very bad. It's just two people who have managed to do so. Yeah, I'm kind of one of them, so. so yes. And like every season before we, we shoot down the meteor, I was thinking that we should just look around and how everything looks on the server. So there are definitely some places we haven't really visited, at least like not together, I might have visited myself. And also uh, I was building a special park yesterday, which I put on this corner. So I used a little bit of my money on that. And just to test out what wonky stuff I can do. Of course, it seems that all the trees that they planted have kind of not survived. It's a little bit sad. Let's see if I can find some more seeds somewhere. <laughs> Would be too sad if there is nothing, so let's see. Reaper is not really suitable for that area. So what other trees I might have? I'm quite sure I have some seeds somewhere. So for example, perch. Can use that. Let's put birch instead. Yeah, one tree only survived. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, two trees, but still. So yeah, so I decided to make kind of like simple park only by using the white and black bricks. And of course the black bricks also for the walkway and then I also found this small statue to use in the middle so I thought it looks nice and I also got few benches so you can just come next to them and sit down it's kind of a relaxing place and I also gave this park a name so the name is Park of Love it's just like because I do love parks myself and I will probably during the daytime as it's still morning and nighttime will be the shooter, I will go to the park and just enjoy the nature. So it's kind of connected to that, I guess. Yeah, it's always good to have several parks in the city. But yeah, to start moving around what really has happened. So. We can start around our area. So we have a lot of farming pretty much in the city. And yeah. This shop never opens. The nuns of Jamaica never managed to get everything sorted here. The server died off a bit too early for that. The government building is next to ours. I think our building is looking quite decent and solid. I have changed a little bit about it but not really much. Well, let's hop into our truck. We can drive around. So we go to the north area <coughs> of the city. So this building here I think I'm I might have used when I was still like starting off. So what was this shop? Nimart. Yeah, I remember I was taking the wood bulb at the beginning and also the basic upgrades, I think I was kind of dealing with. So yeah, I did pop by to this store, but I think this one died off very quickly. So Nibak and yeah, 
it was just pretty much like the first two days it was active after that it was kind of gone and that's why it looks like it does and from this corner i myself took few trees down and some others were doing the same yeah, i'm still still gathering all the all the nice fruits and stuff so yeah then because the map is always made random and then flattened in the center area and it had like those really interesting tall walls so some people started mining those out a bit as well and here is a small stock farm that has been used for some roads and stuff Yeah, some people have been mining down here, it seems. There's not really much inside. And it should be this building that deals with that. And yeah, on the other side we have like a lot of other buildings. I think this is like the living quarters. Leafland's place. It's quite well organized, like you can see everything is in in proper place. Doesn't look like way off. Bathroom is huge. So only bath is missing. Maybe ceiling lights. Living space. A lot of different furniture together. upstairs really cute small bedroom this bed looks so small I didn't even know that the foot on bed looks so tiny I've never tried it ah, and of course upstairs has the bathroom uh, bus as well so quite nice it's always good when people leave the doors open so you can come and see what's inside and yeah another room very similar they're very good for like renting it out. I think maybe I should try something like that as well. And the building itself, even though it's out of brick, it looks nice. And the railing around it. The railing is just corrugated still. And yeah, next door is the farming shop. So you can buy a lot of vegetables and everything. So this belongs to Jake from the State Farm. And yeah, oil products. Yeah, I think like those signs are quite well managed as well. Like the icons make sense. And Leafland at this big shopping center here so this is the tailoring shop where you can buy like the carpets and all those things yeah. bandanas dot cape i've never tried those things before so and they're interesting to see and they do have money, so I can easily take this. Carry by 10, carry by 15. I might take this one. Let's let's try a few of those things. I, I, I do like my derpy hat, so I don't really want to change that. But let's see what the other thing they have. They do have the Explorer outfits. Fitting outfit. I could build the gloves as well. Okay. 
it probably is fine. But yeah, like I, I remember I took one of those national flags before. Let's buy those. So let's switch out all those things. I think the cape goes. Ah, cape and backpack get exchanged. Okay. So if you have cape on, then I'll weight limit this. It says 32 kilos. Interesting. Couldn't really say that much, I guess. But yeah. And it looks, it doesn't look that special, I guess. But yeah, backpack, it looks a bit more natural. And you're having the gloves for working is, I think, just as a road play, it makes more sense. So. And the yeah, rest of the shop is the farmer's markets. I know I came here a lot to buy a lot of veggies and stuff to cook and on the other side we have like one of the vehicle shops and also the breakery place the lego bricks the place where i bought a lot of stuff <laughs> all my bricks are from that brick shop and yet this place is supposed to sell like all the trucks and tractors and whatever It's quite interesting way of making this interior. And at the moment they they still do have few vehicles, but very expensive. Like I don't understand why skids there is two thousand. Like back engineering has for half price. Makes more sense. Even the truck is a bit expensive. Quite interesting. And yeah, I remember this person was kind of trying to change the building, but because the server kind of died, stopped. Yeah, it was all like pyramid shape for, at first, and then he started using the ashless shale to make it a bit more bricky. It's very interesting layout, to be honest. The downstairs is some type of storage as well. Yeah, quite quite nice establishment for like for basic engineering, and yeah, that's why I got the idea to use the cold and stuff as well. Yeah, he made like the full full top out of those things, so but yeah. From here we can see even more of the buildings. There's the city park, which is four times bigger than mine. It's quite good. And yeah. So let me travel to a different location and we can continue. So here in the back corner of the city, there was one furniture store that I think became inactive very soon as well. Because yeah, it was one of the places that wanted to buy a lot of wood, but and uh, didn't have any storage left. So. I think this person, yeah, also only like the beginning of the of the season was only active. <laughs> yeah, I remember like coming here a few times and getting disappointed that I couldn't sell anything. It was when I was still living in near the city. 
and I can see that this road has kind of expanded a bit. So where does it go? Kind of looks like it goes all the way through to this area. It should visit very soon. And yeah, this was the person who moved in next to me. And kind of also disappeared very quickly. So now the server has been running for 20 days. Yeah, only the first two days when we had our shop right here in this corner. But yeah, this is what, what usually happens with the servers. They are very active and then suddenly they will drop off very quickly. And yeah, here are the two university blueprints. Let me check the other day. And in this corner is all the manufacturing. The others, all four blocks owned by, no, this is Janos block. 13 is Nick 52's block. And yeah, just two blocks belong to Elwood. Yeah, it still rem reminds me the beginning of the season where Elwood was kind of looking for extra cash. So I gave a small loan and yeah. And now he has quite fantastic factory. A lot of windmills and wind turbines all set up. Yeah, he did quite well. And yeah, some design as well. And Yano was the person who was kind of my main rival. Just doing the same type of baking. We can see inside a lot of machinery. I'm not sure if we can even go inside. Yeah, I think he keeps the doors locked. Yes, sir. But this door is open. Interesting. I hope he doesn't mind that we look around what's what's inside just for the end season. So yeah, all the assembly lines and stuff. He has a lot of screw presses. Yeah. And I have tried in single player. I never build more than one, so kinda interesting to see. I even didn't know that flat steel can put a staircase like this. It's really nice. I like it. And yeah, all the Machinist tables and robotic assembly lines. It's kind of like sorted out properly. So one is like basic stuff and then more advanced stuff in different room. Really good and really nicely categorized. And then the main building and the shop is downstairs, giving the corrugated steel front. It's like container ship or like container itself then like the kiln and everything on the behind a really well sorted out building and uh, here is kind of grass to the left and on this side is the junkyard place where we have a lot of random stuff random blocks and so on you can pretty much just bring everything here and maybe even buy something back. Because I know that there is there's some things you can earn extra points or credits that you can then use to buy other stuff. Like for example, if I sell one of my stockpiles, I get 0.2 credits and then I could buy maybe something like one plastic for that price. Yeah. It's always good to have some type of like junkyard location. Yeah, you can also buy the wood, which is good. 
It's kind of like a recycling center, really. So maybe in the future we can try something like that as well. And then there is a big stock bar. Belongs to a future wood factory, which was never built. Also by Aldis TV. Kind of left empty. So this building we checked out the other day. This is the place where they have the lasers. So that's where we can probably see it being shot down. Even the the Elwood's place is kind of how to say making it difficult to see, unless of course Elwood will let us go inside and see it from this angle. I think there's the staircase here, the staircase, but the ladder. There was probably ladder on the back sides. Right here. So if Elwood is nice enough to let people to stay here, I think this would be quite good viewing area. Be careful when jumping up. I'm really clumsy. So yeah, if you can maybe have some type of viewing platform on this building, it would be quite nice. You can see it being shot down and and then I mean probably this needs to be removed for that time, but you could see very clearly everything from the city. But yeah. It might be an idea. Proposed to Elwood. Never mind. But yeah, he yeah, had just a few of the shops. Yeah. Central Park. It's kind of cozy. And yeah, like um probably mentioned in previous videos as well that if I was designing it I would have wanted to put the square pots kind of down it's this way it, it has slightly better looks normally when you have like greenhouse the plants are under the like in the ground not above the ground so yeah just tiny thing but it looks nice then small bond. This is always very difficult to do, and I can see that here also the tree has died, unfortunately. I think it was oak tree before. Yeah, just regular, regular area for benches and stuff. But unfortunately, the benches are not usable by anyone else. It would be nice to give like authorization for like sitting at least. And then the shop that was kind of buying all the seeds. And it still is looking for certain ones, like bunch grass, um, bunch grass seeds, which I didn't manage to get any. Sugar cane, that is not implemented in the game yet. So that's why they're mentioning, like, how did you even get this inside? And lupin seeds, which also cannot be uh, gotten in any way. So, like, you can get the plant, but you can't get the seeds. Maybe it will be implemented in the next release as well. We'll see. And, yeah, now, where did we leave our truck? Got the other side of all that. There's way too many buildings to see, to be honest, so we'll try to be very quick. Now going a bit more south. Yeah, sleeping in the asphalt isn't probably the best idea. So this building is also kind of pyramid shaped, so using the concrete. And they are selling composite lumber it's quite beautiful wood to be honest yeah it's kind of interesting that the building is with one material and and what they're selling is totally different 
And it goes really deep down. I've been digging a lot. Make it happen. But downstairs they didn't really add anything. So the storage is only on this floor. And in the back room they have just the table to do the advanced carpentry. And one is here, so I think they took the scale where there are two separate ones. So like they work better when alone. And yeah, this house it looks really nice, but of course this one is locked. It's kind of unique styling, like the corner has been made out of brick and the colors are really, really strong. But it, it looks nice. From here we can quickly go to a south. A few places immediately on our way. And an empty building. No, not really empty. There's something on this side, but... It's still closed as the shop parts. It's supposed to be open, but not selling or buying anything in Alex Martin. Yeah, even the window is closed. <laughs> yeah, here the road goes a bit wider. Another person who never got anywhere. Going further small shops Sorry. stuff so yeah you can just pretty much buy those things here before you could not anymore it's interesting that they have like small entry space and then using the shop And from here it's good, like the old mason shop on the upstairs and Ella's shop downstairs. I know it says that the mason has moved to the city, but let's see what is still upstairs left. Remember, I was selling a lot of stuff here as well. Yeah, it still has like some of the store stuff here. Yeah, you can buy. Reinforced concrete. Nice. And they had one more shop on this side, I guess. And yeah, a lot of people like this type of like pyramid shapes. Yeah, it's just general masonry place and cement kiln and all that. It's a really interesting way to put the cement kilns inside the building. of them and then the exhaust goes together and yeah comes out like this yeah very unique quite nicely built yeah now we should go downstairs we can already see Dallas shop I'll be back in a sec now downstairs this is the Talos shop having like different the class colors and stuff and i think he also says that switch between first and third person to appreciate the colors of the class so let's do so and in third person you can probably notice i'm not sure why i'm keeping that in my hand but yeah you can kind of see it but it's still very high up uh, there's not much to see unless you look a bit down. And here I did quite a bit of trading before as well. I think I was dealing with the epoxy and plastic mainly. You can buy framed glass. Standing signs. Greenhouse glass, which is a little bit expensive, especially as the mode doesn't really require you to use this glass. You can use regular one as well. Yeah. You buy fuel, crushed ores. A lot of stuff is available here. 
Only one corrugated steel. <laughs> Not really much. Yeah. Okay. It was quite nice shop and also I like this indent so it's easier to access the top corner. It was well thought through. Yeah, inside. I mean, it looks like a bowl, kinda. And it's very interesting to see this glass working table. So, actually, I haven't really checked the glass working table. This is part of the mods. Yeah, it looks like small kiln on top of glass panes. Quite nice. Yeah, there are many, many glass panes on here that you can easily see what they look like. I think that's why there's no door, so you can easily see that. Most of the building is closed. Yeah, downstairs there's, of course, kiln and a lot of stuff. There was seemingly quite big mine down here as well. There's a lot more of those things. Oh. It goes all the way into desert area. <coughs> and yeah, here's big mine. Like loads of coal. Really, really nice. Really deep mine, it seems. And not good for like trucks or anything, so probably just with hand carting. And down here, where it stopped. Yeah, it's like the manual way down. Don't need iron ore. Quite big mining facility. So what else do we, uh, do we find in this area? I, mean, I really would like to see the building that was going all the way up. Might need to jump down to see this area a bit better. You can't go through the window, unfortunately. I like this building look, so I want to take different angles, so I'll be back in a sec. So here it is. So it's a really interesting building made out of all those blocks and has the machinist table here. It's all glass pretty much, except the corners. And different colored panes. Those are the two by twos. Looks relatively nice. Yeah, on the other side is the mine, so that's what it looks like. And yeah, so we will continue on the road and see what next place will be. Okay, we are in the next building, just after the Talos place. So it seems to be it's just a small factory with two kilns, so maybe for cement. It's a little bit stockpile, but no shop, so... Not really sure what what is the purpose. Yeah, upstairs there is also one of the Joe Grasher or rocks, I guess. But yeah, absolutely no shop nearby. So not sure why. But yeah, let's continue down the road. And here in the deserts, just down the ramp, is another shop that I visited a few times. I can't remember what they exactly bought from here. But I remember I was visiting a few times. Yeah, they do have nails, but only wanted by a shop that doesn't exist. <laughs> so yeah. The Batarian pipes. Yeah, they're overpriced here. And they're everywhere <laughs> quite expensive. <laughs> so yeah, I did come here a few times to sell some stuff. And yeah, it's kind of... Not close to the city, but, but kind of neat location. 
but yeah and now we can go ahead and see one of the bridges that someone was making to make it look nicer now we are quite a long way south from the city it's almost on the other side of the not not yet but kind of far end of the map it's quarter way in action down but the bridge goes pretty much all the way around so kind of makes sense so it's the other side of the city and this is a bridge so it, it is built by king sir so he has bought a lot of those parts just to make it himself i remember him mentioning on discord that is it okay to build i think it's yeah it's quite nice build to be honest so i don't mind and when we go through we'll go to the third person so we can see a lot more it it does look quite decent it's kind of like suspension bridge in some ways because of the tiny pieces hanging down and i'm not sure how long it took for him to build definitely it took quite some time and yeah it's really really long bridge as well then the middle part there are some of the struts going all over it's kind of logical wheel bridges have the same there's something downstairs but first person again there's a building or lighthouse that's interesting but I don't think it has ah okay there's a walkway on the back side so we can get up so we can go and take a look uh, and an interesting build again lighthouse here really really tall but no staircase or anything inside unfortunately they can't really go up easily but yeah it, it's like unique way because it's in the middle of the water there's a small lake and not like a small island which i think was naturally here so it's not like it's man-made but probably I'm quite sure that our players have added some pieces here to make it and the taller and support the bridge but yeah it's quite interesting design and yeah very long way up I'm quite sure you can fall down a lot of times and then get stuck. But yeah, let's quickly hop back to our truck and and travel towards the city. There's still so many places to see. As the map is actually quite big. Like living in the city everything is like next to you, but once you go out of the city then distances get very big. we already have visited a few places before so i might not go into too many of those areas and again the road looks very strange at the moment so now we are in the south corner of the city there's like farming areas and stuff i think we will turn down and go this way just see what shops are in this corner I can't remember going to that shop at last store let's quickly take a look it's the shop beforehand that belongs to nuns of Jamaica I visited many times to get some resources for my baking and research it's kind of big building so let's stop by so this is like the cooking station there's kitchen and cast iron stove butchery table so pretty much can do anything about about the 
cooking stuff. And downstairs there's some stuff as well. More cooking. So the stoves are nicely hidden underneath. Yeah. That's quite a smart idea. And I think before it went up this way, so that's why. Yes there. Let's go back out this way. There. Exhaust is available. Good. <laughs> I like this text. Wobbly wheels no more. You see, uh, everyone who takes the uh, powered cards, it has the wobbly wheels and it's quite annoying. So it makes sense that once you get the steam truck, then it's wobbly wheels no more. And yeah, in this store I bought a lot of stuff all the time, like some of the meats and and even like made salads, the basic salads. So that's how I made quite a lot of money. Yeah, there's parking space next to it. Is there any other way in? Of course there is, like said. There's just only storage in this building. This is good. Well, let's go ahead. I think there are a few more shops down the road. And I think I visit maybe only once. Yeah, it's really, really long road through the jungle. I will leave the truck probably in this corner. It's easier. Fresh food store. Okay, they also did baking, like I do. A big competitor. And yeah, I think soon, like from the next big release, you might need to start using the freezing stuff to keep the food safe. Because at least something was announced by the developers. Okay, what is this store? Last store. Do they only sell glass? It's a little bit expensive. I mean, all the selling is expensive. But yeah, not much money you can ever make this way. Yeah, it's kind of hidden away behind the jungle and everything. So, yeah, like I don't really think there's much business happening in this corner. Yeah, back there as well, wood and stone. So you can buy a few lamps. Yeah, it's really far away, so. But yeah, next I will go up here. We can go down the this road. And maybe take a quick look in the desert area. Even though we have probably visited a few times. The hotel we already saw, so it's not much. But yeah, down here is kind of interesting corner as well, so. Yeah, very quickly I will get there and let's see. So this is the logging camp. It's really nicely behind the tree that has grown through so <laughs> it's really looks like abundant i remember i i often came here to buy some wood pulp so i i could make like the mortar out of it so it was also really nice looking building because of the roofs and stuff but yeah it kind of only worked the first first week or so and now it's it's not really that busy in that building there i'm not going close is the low slogging company i visited that few times as well but again not much happening and yeah quite long land that he has there but yeah let's travel down the roads there might be a few more interesting things available other than the trees poking through the roads Remember I did some tree cutting in this corner before, but 
it didn't really matter too much. And one time I did travel through all these roads to go to one shop in the in the jungle. But yeah, it was kind of troublesome. Oh, there are a few vehicles here. That's interesting. Very good parking. Yeah, one of the containers as well. So yeah, like I remember that I was moving those logs around to make it accessible for the truck. The road itself has enough width, everything, so you can go through, but it doesn't look very safe with all the strays poking through. Because sometimes they do have some clipping issues and you know, might find yourself stuck in one place. So yeah, this this road never got really fully finished. Like the South North Way, it got finished, but yeah. Now the road is a bit wider, you can go around the trees. And here's one other shop that I never really visited. Is the Filbert's bubble? Yeah, I mean, they were probably sold out, that's why I never came, but yeah. They're selling fresh gold. This good thing, concrete, cement. But now, there's nothing left. So. And yeah, out of the tunnel there are again more trees in the middle of the roads. Very common. And here is more like our popular locations that I visited a lot for trading purposes. The hard stuff. Uh, I, the last time also I came here to sell something. But yeah, maybe I sold like glass. Yeah, last time. I think there were many more things, but uh, difficult to find. Yeah, they have all the pipes and steel bars. It's a little bit expensive, the steel bar. Yeah, the copper. Hydro engineering wants copper. I don't really have much money on me anymore. So I'm not going to buy at the moment. Yeah, those facilities are quite big here. Of course, it. Ah, you can open the door. Nice. So yeah, machine is stable in this corner and other stuff there. It's interesting. Some doors are made accessible for ev everyone and some not. And here is like the mine downstairs. Not going through because otherwise the video will be three hours long. I think even now it's already too long. <laughs> what did I put here? I put the seeds. A truck, of course. And let's put everything on my truck then. I don't need to carry stuff around myself. can enjoy more more visual space then yeah this shop I visited many many times in the recent past few days and I remember that I might have mentioned that I liked this shop at one of the first times I went to a house stuff shop yeah it's currently closed but yeah and the simple stuff selling. Again, the building is nicely slanted roofs and stuff, which I do like. And they did make some type of asphalt, I guess. Or they're just using asphalt. Oh, that's very interesting. It's kind of in the middle of the water area. Yeah, it's like a big lake. Yeah, they came next to the lake and just put the glass up so you can actually see through. 
kind of like the aquarium idea, I guess. So maybe next season we can make new aquarium somewhere. So here's the engineer corner. I think I only visited at the beginning a few times and it looked way different. But in recent weeks, nothing. They have asphalt concrete. But it's more expensive than selling to the road shops. So, so like, why do you even sell if no one will ever buy it? Because there's no point to transfer the stuff if you can't make money. So I think someone mentioned in the on the Discord as well that it makes no sense that, uh, that there's like no purpose for those people who will just deliver stuff because they can't make any money. This sign looks really nice. Might want this one in the future. And yeah, the shop itself looks quite good. Again, a lot of those tables. It's quite a big building. A lot of different stuffs hidden inside. Multi section building, glass works and stuff. Upstairs, unfortunately, is closed. But yeah, you can see there's the robotic assembly lines and more storage inside. It's just sneaking around the buildings. I mean, like this small staircase inside, it also looks quite cool. But yeah. And like there is a shop I visited way too many times. I came to buy some ingredients here. Autumn Palm, unfortunately, sold out everywhere. But yeah, I did buy many of those from here. They sell a lot of stuff, even sun cheese. The building itself, kind of unique. Like you can even see the slanted windows there, which I didn't even know you can do. Let's see if you can find anything around it. First of all, just to see it's glass. A little bit trippy. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's go upstairs. Of course the door is locked so we can't go inside. But yeah, it's a really big bathroom it seems. And I didn't know that you can use the class as the triangles. Interesting. Or is it specific class that you can only use? But yeah. It's quite quite nice building, I must say. But yeah, there are so many other shops around. That's the this the stone depot shop. Is currently now closed, unfortunately. But yeah, they were selling like the upgrades and also buying the upgrades for no cost. So yeah, and the next shop, the Craze Mining Company. I think I did come here a few times just to sell some food, which I was making because they were always buying like, like some stuff, and even now, like. I could easily bring like one of the basic salads I have, maybe make even autumn stew and then sell right here to get extra money. And yeah, I can't remember buying anything from here though. Maybe I did buy like redstone or something, but yeah, it was quite far from my place. But yeah, more down here 
it's more like factory stuff and you can find concrete in this corner and a little bit glass some stuffed animals cotton balls yeah and those shops i didn't really visit ever and the local place Yeah, there are some shops kind of hidden away from the road as well. But yeah, let me get to a different corner. It's the last few places that we will check. Now we are in the Southern Gordon, so the hydro engineering place, a place where I did a lot of selling again. And yeah, the big building here. So we can look a bit more detailed around here. So inside they have the fishery stuff and all that. The shop is quite packed. The back room there is more like semi living quarters and like research area. A small balcony which has a staircase to upper floor. Where is like the main bedroom stuff? Yeah, they have like nice fast iron beds. And another bedroom is fancy lights. Another kitchen, more living space. Very nice building, actually. A lot of stuff inside. And of course, bathroom. Everything seems to be connected, so. Really well made. And you can get out from the upper floor. So it's it's quite organized in many ways. And a huge building. All the windows have different colors. Kind of fun to see. And yeah, the road went through the private roads. The underneath is the mine that I think they used. Yeah. This glass kind of looks interesting, so let me quickly pop downstairs because it looks really fancy. Yeah, from the downstairs, looks quite nice. Of course, like the junk lines, they, they do become visible at times. Yeah. Looks slightly frosted. Yeah. Good to watch outside from the, this mine. <laughs> it's really big mine as well. A lot of crushing stuff and that's yeah, iron, limestone. It's quite nice, and I think it's maybe easier for us to just quickly run around on foot. Yeah, this building we didn't check. Then this is like the workshop make all the machinery and stuff also neatly packed workshop here which has like the waste to outsides then through to other side of the electronic shop downstairs is even more robotic assembly and then it heads to the main mine I guess quite deep oh. really deep and it never finishes yeah it's 21 in the depth so it's really 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 low Yeah, mining that out is so annoying. <laughs> I've done it before and I literally get tired of mining after that. But yeah, nevertheless, let's head back upstairs. Yeah, as I said, we can quickly take a look on the other areas here. So this shop I used a lot as well. 
in recent times. Yeah, small corner here. It's melting array. This corner. Using the mechanical pumps. This is kind of good when you're on the river because you can use the mechanical power. A lot of piping. The shop has a lot of storage under the ceiling, which is a little bit strange. And the kitchen and kiln area. The back side there is more of the building. I can find a way to go up. So there's again, it's like kitchen and then suddenly a rolling mill. It's a little bit strange combination. Yeah, so this is that building. And they did have some type of lift for going into the mine. But this is on the private land, so you know that you cannot use it. Some storage. But I have put aside. I think it's mainly used through the mine or something. This looks a bit wonky, floating. And this place I never visited, it seems to be another mine, possibly for gold, because it goes into the mountain, or maybe copper. So I never really came to this place other than just getting some stuff from the forest. Yeah, they are not really selling anything, so, and difficult to determine. Yeah. They have all the doors closed. <laughs> Very interesting time. Yeah. Loch Ness Monster. It would have been nice to see inside the mine as well. And yeah, going back in the corner. I like a few more shops. The farmer shop, a lot of farm stuff. It belongs to Black Ghosts. And then another store next to it. The two stores. So this is the French Lumber Check. Like I often see this store like buying a lot of stuff, like two mortar for high price. They are also selling few things. You can buy double racks and whatever. And the tailor shop then is with the tailoring items. Traffic cones, for example. Yeah. Yeah. These type of places are all here. They have their own nice covered bridge. So yeah, and if we go a bit back, and we can also see the open air butcher and carpentry location. It was a place that I visited many times. It was good for shopping. And yeah, they had the industrial, industrial elevator put onto this mine but yeah I remember that at the beginning of the uh, 0 0.9 when it was introduced I tried it and then it kind of jumped the trucks around way too much I haven't tried now so I'm not sure if it's fixed or not but yeah this is just a tour so I will take a break until the actual event will start. I will, I will try to be awake on that time. Even though for me it's again like 3 a.m. It is a bit annoying, but I'm kind of getting used to that. Happily, 
this Monday is a uh, public holiday here it's called uh, Marine Day so you don't need to worry about being too sleepy for work yeah here we have a few other shops and so let's let's park our truck besides should be more straight than that and yeah here we are back in our store i've been actually spending way too much time online just to record this video like traveling around yeah but yeah i will see you at the event hopefully so the time has come again so we're getting ready for the coming pass of the meteor the people are gathering they are also i don't know what 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 some people are doing <laughs> putting copper bars all over the grounds many trucks here a few vehicles that went over the edge i think it's kind of normal during those times and yeah i decided that i will stay on top of this building as it gives a bit better view of everything and yeah, so we are pretty much running the past few minutes. So hopefully we can get to the shops very quickly. I might speed up the footage just until we get to the real action. There we go, another season finally finished. Yeah, on Thursday we will start the season 19. So until then it will be probably some silence and I will I will give it a try to see this obstacle course before I log out. And yeah, thank you for watching this more than one hour long video and I will see you in the next season.